All right, here we go. You ready, dude? Hey guys, as a Mac user, uh, it can be tough to find a capture device. The Elgato is an option for sure, um, but you know, outside of that, there isn't there isn't a whole lot to choose from. But I wanted something that I could kind of play through the capture software with in real time, uh, or as close to it as possible, and and go that route. So the Avermedia Extreme Cap U3. Uh, works with Mac. It took me a while to get it going. I had some trouble and I had to look around online a lot. So I thought for uh, you other Mac users out there, I would put a, a quick instructional video together here. Me and Bosco here, we're going to we're going to show you how to get that working and and, uh, and hopefully save you some of the time that I spent. Uh, so let's let's get right into it. All right, guys, uh, to get started, first step is go to the Avermedia web page and uh, and go to the download section, get your drivers and more importantly, the firmware update. So as soon as you get here, you choose your product, uh, down under Downloads, jump over to the Firmware tab, and grab right up top here the Mac OS X El Capitan Firmware Update. I'm on Sierra, it works on Sierra as well. This is the first thing you need to do, so get that downloaded. While you're here, jump over to the Application and Driver, and at the bottom of the list is a previous version, 1.2.15, Rec Central. So that's the one you want. There's also 1.2.18, which is a newer version. I haven't had any luck with it. So this is the one that I'm suggesting that you try. Again, I'm on Sierra and it's working for me. So get that downloaded and once you're done, you're gonna wanna go and start by installing the firmware. So follow the instructions, but basically it's going to tell you to unplug everything except the USB 3. So have only your USB plugged into the capture box and install the firmware update. If it fails, which it did for me numerous times, uh, if it fails, leave it plugged in with just the USB, restart your Mac and try again worked for me right away after that, so that's what I would suggest there. Once that's done, you can go ahead and install the Rec Central software 1.2.15. Um, now, the problem I had here was that when I went to install it, it wouldn't let me because it doesn't have a valid certificate recognized by Apple or the OS or whatever. Um, normally, you would just go into your settings and choose Open Anyway, and that would let you bypass that. But for whatever reason, I just got stuck in a loop and it just going back and forth and I, and I couldn't open it. So the workaround to that, which many of you maybe already know as Mac users, but if you go and open your Applications folder and choose to open in Finder, uh, that will let you actually right-click on the app, in this case Rec Central, choose Open, and uh, if I were in the process of installing this now, I would get a prompt telling me it doesn't have a valid certificate, but with a button to just open anyway, and that will let you run the earlier version of the software and get that installed. Um, so once that's done, you're good to go. Plug in your, your your source. I have an Xbox One plugged in at the moment. PS4 works as well as long as the HDCP protection is turned off. I imagine any other HDMI device would in the same in the same circumstance, but that's all I've tried. Um, and you should be off to the races. So I'll fire it up here. If the, if you open this up and you have a black screen. The strange trick is to go to your preferences and just click a few things and close it and wait a few seconds. And your picture comes back. So I'm not sure what causes that, but once it's back, it's back for good. The only thing that will make it go away is if you uh, click any of, the, of your device settings here. But uh, if you encounter that problem, that's all you need to do is go to the preferences and that'll bring it right back. Uh, but that's it. It's, uh, it's really responsive. It works really well. As you guys can see, I am running Rec Central version 1.2.15, and I am running it on macOS Sierra. So it definitely, definitely works. Uh, the steps I've just shown you are how, is how I got it to work. And once I got that firmware update installed and was able to get the previous version of Rec Central installed, that was all it took. So if anyone else you know wants to play around, try with the newer version, has better luck, please let me know if you, if you got that to work, if it's a smoother experience. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully anyone else who's in the same situation I was a few days ago uh, can save you some time and you know get you back into what you want to be doing here. So thanks for checking this out, guys.